Hey there, everybody. My name is Scott Demar. Welcome back for another video of Tell Me Why. We're going to continue this series, boys. Uh, this is going to be the second episode or the second chapter, whatever you, you want to call it. Uh, it came out not too long ago. Or actually, it probably came out at the same time as the first chapter. I didn't even know about it. I thought it was only the first chapter that came out. I guess the second chapter was already there. So we're ready to uh, continue the game. The uh, third chapter is about to come out uh, soon enough as well. The developers uh, did go ahead and uh, talked about it. So we'll see where this is going to lead us, boys. We're coming, uh, continuing we're straight into the story. We were finally reunited. And together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest. They found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. We should play compass and north star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word. She went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone, deep and ancient wood and that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title i don't like that story there were no goblins and it was depressing we won't read it again i love you mom not me <laughs> just kidding love you mom Mwah. i love you too Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste. Who does that? That is disgusting, Allison! boys. Ollie, That's just disgusting. Hat. Why would you do that? Come on, Allison.
Chapter 2 Family Secrets, boys. Well, Allison is pretty much a savage. First off, she drinks a whole thing of fucking ice cream. She eats it up from the the cup itself. Like who does the who does that? Honestly, I don't know. And then she just straight up murders her uh, mother. I don't know what's going on here. Didn't know she had it in her to uh, to do that those types of stuff, boys. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay, no, we're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor is a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. I'm confused Goblin here, boys. I am super confused right now. This must be a dream sequence or something. I cleared out most of the stuff from the back. I'm telling you, this is a dream sequence because there's no way. I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's gotta be a dream or something. I'm doing it because it must be something important or something. Yes, it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still Do you have to be so them. close to me, my guy? I don't want them. Your happy memories. I don't want them. I don't want them. I don't think I do either. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but 
But what? But do you remember how I'd spend hours in front of the mirror just gathering all my hair behind my head? Sure. Dressed like this, with the long hair, it was as if no one could really see me, you know? I was the invisible boy. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. You dirty. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that, I guess. I'm sorry. Therapies for pussies, boys. Really Nobody bad. does that. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. Thanks. I'm still right. confused. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. You can keep a few days? Okay. I guess look at that because we don't really have anything right now. Let's just leave, I guess. Do we need to leave oh, or man. what's going on here? I man. This, one. <laughs> this game is so full weird. of dialogue, I, I gotta tell you. Not a lot of actions right now already. We're 12 minutes in and... Hasn't been a single action. The hell is this, boys? First episode was alright, but the second episode is already getting long right here. We got some uh, memories. I really don't know what the hell's going on, boys. Are we in the past? Are we in the future? Like, when are we? What's going on exactly? I'm completely clueless right now. Hold up your fish. My fish anymore. Alice Reed stole it. Are they right? Okay. What was that memory all about? The fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Whatever you say. Okay, so. Do we need to look at anything, really? Is there anything that interesting? Let's open the fridge, see what we got in there. Is there a dead body in there? That would uh, mix things up. There's literally... Yeah, there's literally nothing in there. The hell? Pickle and ketchup sandwiches? Pickle and ketchup sandwiches? Ew! Who wants to eat that? you have to remind me of that? Yeah. I don't know how you ate that stuff. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Disgusting. Mm, so good. What is wrong with you, my guy? Holy shit. Who eats that type of stuff? All right, let's take a look around. So we're still packing, I guess, right? So I guess we are in the future. I was so confused for a minute there, boys. Nice Maybe we are nice in the future guys. after all. We're uh, still packing. Whatever. Smell? What would I smell that? That's a terrible thing to do. Don't. Packing up upstairs. Well, I don't know. There's not a lot to uh, to look at, really. What is that? I I don't know. What? There's a bunch of notes everywhere. There's not really a lot to look at. So, what am I, what's my objective exactly? Because Tyler told me that uh, I need to help him out or something. Uh, upstairs, another lot of things. Oh, okay. We got to clean up. All right. I'll clean it up. Dang. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. All right. I'm guessing you want to keep clean everything table. out, boys. Uh, you want to keep the coffee table? What about you? Do you want to keep it? Because I don't Anything care. You want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right. I'll keep it. What the, that thing's ridiculous. Look at that. What the hell, boys? Who wants that? Okay, let's just leave that there. I really like that armchair. That armchair? Which one? The, this one? Okay. I didn't even talk. Uh, keep? Trash? Uh, I guess you can keep it, I guess. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? There we go, he keeps it. I guess he's gonna keep it. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? I, there's, there's not, there's nothing really, anything I else. Say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. 
I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. So we're selling that. We're getting rid of that one. Uh, the armchair, yeah, we can we can keep the armchair, I guess. There's like the space for that to put that somewhere else, I guess. There's no need to uh, worry too much about that. Where's the memory at? I I, I see a memory thingy, but uh, oh, there it is. There it is, boys. I found it. Eddie, now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh, only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. What is that? Listen, Allison. When we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other room. That sounds fair. Yes. Jeez, Allison's possessive, boys. Holy shit! There's literally nothing. Army table and wobbly chairs. Uh, I don't know. I think that's a bit too much. Uh, we're gonna sell that for sure. We're selling everything. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. I don't think we're gonna. No, we're. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna sell that. So it looks like we're looking everywhere to see what we're selling. What? There's another thing? How many memories do we have? It's memory day for today, boys. What the hell? Ooh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Mm, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been stinky pants Sam. <laughs> oh, stinky pants Sam. <laughs> Mommy, Sam has that smell getting a skunk out of our room. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Pansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Yeah, okay then. Uh, let's take a look at that. Do we take that? You are staying here. I feel like oh, we should take that. That oven looks in okay enough shape. What do you mean we're not moving the oven? It could be very useful. I mean, forget about the table, but the oven could be very useful. I don't know where we're all moving that though. Where are we gonna even... What's our space looking at? Our new space? What about this? Um, pick? Nope. What is that? Join? I'm not joining you, buddy. You can fuck off. If you think I'm joining you right here. Alright, I think I gotta pack up on upstairs, I guess. Choose tea. Coffee? What about none? Well, coffee is bad for your health. Tea is, uh, tea, tea is actually good for your health. I'm gonna take tea. Even though I don't like any of these two, I'll, I'll choose uh, the one that's actually healthy. Earl Grey or chai? Let's take tea, I guess. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I'm so glad he came through on the caffeine. Shit, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. What are you talking about? The Ice King? What now? What is this? For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. You shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh. <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always there and you never know. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead. Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it again? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. See, I find it kind of weird now that we are mentioning it. I find it kind of weird that uh, Marianne was uh, helping these kids. Usually, adults don't act like that. She was acting very strange. She was acting a bit like a child herself, uh, which is 
it's not a bad thing, but it's kind of weird. It definitely is uh, off-putting, that's for sure. Uh, let's look at this table. Do we take it? With this. Uh, I think that's way too big. Let's just sell that. We're not putting anything into the trash. We gotta sell stuff. There's no way we're putting anything into the trash, man. Uh, let's look under. Do we have anything here? Well, look at what we got. How does that sticky even that's stick the there, aspect. boys? How we got that? Gum? Uh, I guess that was probably me. How? My God! How would I manage to do that? Okay. Well, we got another collectible, boys. I did well to uh, get it there. All right, so. Hey, they're in here. What? What's in here? Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <sighs> Can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the story? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, here we go again, Come boys. On. Humor me. Are you kidding me? Here we go again with these bullshit stories about goblins. Let's see what we got right now. I'd say he's more, he's the bear. Definitely. Yeah, I think that's how it is. So I, I'm going to swap. You go here. Like that. And I'm actually going to swap it like that. This one. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, he's definitely the bear. Uh, he's a cop, right? So and he's the one fishing for skanks. So right. I guess that's it. I that could be it. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. How do you like them apples? I mean... Yeah, sure, maybe. What about these men? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. What were you talking about? Oh, these ones? You, oh no, not this guy. Now this guy's creepy. Let's remember that one, boys. Got some memories uh, from that. We need to hide. This way. Who thinks about that? Who thinks about? Oh no. Oh, fuck me, man. Get out of here, dude. I don't know what this is, but this is scary as hell. Oh, he sees us. This is literally a Legion thing. We've been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison. Wait, it felt way too real. It was us pushing our imagination way too. So we can actually create ima imaginations. We can create them and transform into the real world. Probably We're not that's next level. I can already figure out where this is going, boys. This is next level right there. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning. So, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. That's really kind of you. Very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh, I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. Scaring us? You didn't. You're you didn't scare us? No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I, uh, anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh, I did some reading. Google? I didn't know the difference between all those words and I... Never been much of a reader, huh? but I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. All right, thanks, I guess. Oh, and before I forget, the, the lady of the house.
It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. It's bonding time with Sam, I guess. We're still playing as Allison. Okay. Was something. Come on. We need lights, so be nice to the helpful man. Tyler, what's wrong with you? Sounds being a nice guy right now. What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you being a jerk for right now? I don't get it, boys. He's being a jerk to everybody. Like, no. literally, Sam is being a nice um, guy. You can... School. He's literally acting like a Canadian, so uh, you don't like Canadians? What's wrong with you, my guy? Outdoor study. Come on, Tyler. Well... Good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Yeah? What's wrong with the fuse box? What happened to the fuse box? Oh. I forgot to put it back together after I fixed one of the fuses that kept snapping. It turns out a circuit was a little worse for the wear. I soldered it back on the spot. Just the way your mama would have wanted. Made her happy when things could be fixed instead of thrown out. Anyways... Okay, where's the key? Uh, you still have our keys. Uh, well, just open the door, I guess. <sighs> just open the door. And give us our keys. All of them. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... It's no. all right. We're just good. give it the keys, man. Thank you. It's all good. Fair warning. The door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. And when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Well, so much for that. Just broke the handle, my guy. That's all good. I sent some tension between these two, man. What the hell's going on? Whatever Sam ever did to Tyler, I Door's don't know, boys, now. but uh, why do I have a feeling like Sam is literally our dad? Like, this is where it's going, boys. He's definitely going to be our dad, I guarantee you. Plays the fuse. The hell am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to know what the hell is going on? 30, 20, 15? The hell am I... S I don't know how this goes. Am I, do I look like an electrician to you, my guy? Of course! All I had to do the entire time is follow the colors, boys, the, of the wires. Oh my god, I swear. I, at first I read the note, I was like following the note and everything. The, the note's garbage. It doesn't tell you anything. Unless I'm stupid, it really doesn't tell you anything. You just have to uh, follow, I guess, the, the colors. The simple stuff, boys. I can't, Damn I can't think properly. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Something's wrong here. What is it? What is it, Sam? Fine. What was that about? I don't know, but something's wrong with him. He's having some regrets, and that is not a good sign. We got a car in here. Can we take a look at that? This work. Take it apart and sell to scrap. Sell to scrap? Be my guest. It's a waste of time. Be my guest. Be my guest. It sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Yes, exactly. We got to sell everything we see. We, we're not wasting anything here. Uh, examine. Do we have anything in particular? I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. Toilet paper tubes. Okay, those 
Bunch of nothing, really. Nothing important, boys. What about this? Predator rep. What's that supposed to be? Ew, what? Use not to say my name. What is that? What's it doing here? Why is there wolf pee in our barn? Wolf pee? Wait, if it's a weird sex thing, I don't want to know. You win. Well, I don't want to do either. It's probably because of scent. Keep the, the skinks away and stuff like that. It's probably because of that. I uh, hate her little buddy. Oh no, I hate spiders. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Yeah, well, no spiders rule, my guy. Ugh. You can. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Um, that's not cool. That that's really not cool, my guy. You gotta keep. Stop being it's a jerk. Not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry, it was a low blow. Yes, it was. He really freaked out when he saw that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. I don't think we need to go anywhere, boys. Uh, anywhere else? Are we just supposed to take a look at the garage or what's going on here? Because I, I feel like I've looked at everything. I know I'm impatient, boys, but goddamn. This game is taking its time this time around. What about that picture? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. It's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. In Marianne, she looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you kidding me, girl? Are you okay? It's stained. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. We're getting a memory. Let's see what we got. Let's follow it, boys. Following the memory. Okay. Come on. It's gonna get infected. I gotta tell you, there's so many memories that we already looked at before. Uh, this, this is incredible. Like, this whole episode is about looking at memories. It's very slow. This episode is very slow, boys. Not a very big fan of it right now. Exposition. We had enough exposition in the first episode. We didn't need more in the second one. Feel like this is really slow for no reason right now. It popped up at the end of first episode, but then all of a sudden it's like I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more. I can feel it. Do you? Do you truly feel it, my guy? I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! Okay, what? that's she just... She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Well, what do you think? I pretty much think that what happened is this, my guy. I think you're seeing the wrong Look, things here. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. I see you. Marianne. We don't still don't know the story. What's going on here? It was a long time ago and well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait. When did that happen? I I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Is it? 
Uncle Eddie said he hadn't Some... seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. Something must have been really wrong long. for all of this to, to collide into exactly? each other. To happen all at the same day. Uh, you must have had reasons. You must have had reasons. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne. Even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Uh, okay. Choose Tyler's memories? Choose Allison's memories. Well, I'm obviously playing Allison, so I'm gonna choose her memories. You, might, you know, it is how it is. Marianne was sad? Was angry? I think she was just sad. There we go. That still seems like the best one. Alright. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what would these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. We're obviously trying to figure out what happened that day. Uh, infamous day that she flipped out and tried to kill Tyler. Tried to kill him. I don't even know if she, that's what she wanted to do, to I mean, be honest. I mean, this is all a mystery fan, to me. But he's uh, we don't know anything, right? We gotta uncover you what's going so on here. About it. What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. Oh, it's Tina. I, I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. All right. Does she have something that we need? Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. Yeah, you do that, my guy. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh. When? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hi, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Ah. Uh. It's not the right time. It's just I'm sorry, it's just not the right time. It's it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm yeah, sorry. I heard I you the first time away. around, all right? I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. We got an offer for the house, but we're not ready. The the house's not even packed up yet. We're not we're not ready to pack up the the whole thing yet. And we're in the whole Detectives type of, of missions right now, so we don't have time for this. I mean Yeah, we got a uh, we got other stuff to do boys to worry about right now than selling the house I did to see uh, where Tyler went right there Hopefully he didn't go too far. Why does this remind me of the place from the um, From the last uh, life is strange Two, boys looks a lot like it for some parts of it boys The wolves look yeah, at that really this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Rings a bell. Well, you, well, maybe it has something to do with us, I guess. Nice, spot. nice little Easter egg from the first one, though. He's been here. Uh, the before, second right? game. So I guess we gotta talk to him. Because like we don't really have anything else, right? So let's just talk to him, I guess. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh. What'd she need? 
She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. Yeah, I told her no. We need more time than that. Yeah. To get things cleaned up. We got something else going on, my guy. Thanks. So what if it's the only call we get? Then I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass. It's just... hard. This whole damn situation is hard. Do you think I like learning all that shit about Tessa? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? You're gonna soak a uh, soul call day? I like this. You, Eddie, warned me about this. Uh, Eddie warned me about this? What do you mean by that? What does that even mean? Okay, I'm just gonna say the first one. You're gonna soak all day? You have okay. So about the house sale, you still want to live in the wall? Come on, help me out. Um, you still want to live in the wild? What are these? What are these options? I don't get it. What are even these options, boys? About the house sale. Come on, help me out. I guess the first one again. Remember, okay, let's see what we got right here boys This game's so slow literally the pauses that don't need to be there This is gonna be the only video for the second episode boys. I guarantee you I'm getting pissed off already. I I was okay with the first episode. It was all right intriguing The second episode is already pissing me off one hour into it and uh, nothing happening whatsoever way too slow boys Always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were by feeling what you felt. We looked like little freaks. No one else could play with us. Well, no one else could play with us. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. All right, boys. So I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. Uh, he's overprotective. He'll say he's, he's too busy. He's, uh, he's going to say he's too busy. He'll probably say he's too busy to talk. That's how he tends to avoid conflict. We're not looking for conflict. Just answers. <sighs> Let's be honest. Lately, that's been pretty much the same thing. I haven't been trying to pick fights. You know that, right? I just want closure. That's all. I know. I need some of it, too. 
But I, you know what I need? Some time off from this game because uh, this game I'm not a fan of, boys. Um, it's very slow. There's really not a lot. And I don't sense any connection between these two characters. I'm doing that on purpose, obviously. I'm throwing them off. But for, by default, I don't sense a connection there. I feel like it's not even there. It's not a good game. It's just not. It's a pretty ordinary game. It's not a bad game either, but it's very slow, and I can't I can't see myself continuing it, so I'm just gonna stop it. Uh, so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, boys. I'll see you guys for the next video. Keep it easy.